Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video just to demonstrate how you can um, install a Conda environment on your local machine so that you have all of the uh, Python packages for the forecasting work. Just a reminder that there's another video um, that talks you through how to run everything in the cloud on Colab or in Binder if you're struggling to get this working on your local machine. Okay, so here I am in the GitHub repo for module 9a, forecasting, um, and a summary of what I'm about to discuss with you is included in the README preview. Um, so that tells you how to install everything um, on your computer. Um, the first thing you need to do is get the code down to your computer. There's two ways to do that. Um, you can either go to the green code button, click on that and download a zip file, um, and uncompress that on your machine, or you can clone it using Git. Uh, let's use Git. Uh, if you're using Windows, um, like I am here, I recommend um, we, you use HTTPS to clone it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open Anaconda prompt. Okay, that takes a second to open. Um, what I've got on my machine is I've already set up a folder in my documents called HSMA, and I'm just gonna clone the data into there. So the first thing I'll do is I'll navigate to um, that. Check. Yep, there's nothing in there. So what I can do is I can do a git clone, um, and then I can paste in um, the HTTPS link to my GitHub repo, run that, and it pulls it in. So if we now do a directory check, you can see that there's module 9a there, and we can go cd module 9a, and we're in and we can have a look. And here's all of our files. So um, what I've done is I've set up a conda environment here. Um, so if we just skip over to uh, Windows Explorer. I'll show you what I mean by environment if you've not seen one. So inside module 9a and binder there's a file called environment. Double click on that, we'll have a look at it in notepad. Uh, so this is a YAML file, a .yml file, but on Windows you can open that in notepad. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a uh, conda environment called hsma4 underscore forecast and it's gonna install dependencies from the Conda Forge channel. Uh, and this is the list of dependencies it's going to include. So for example, we're going to use Python 3.8.8. Uh, we're going to use Pandas 1.2.3. And we're also going to install Spider, JupyterLab, and Jupyter Notebook. Um, and then lastly, there's a pip install as well, which is an alternative to Conda, and that's a package Pencord has put together called Forecast Tools, and that's just a few cheats to help us um, with our forecasting. So if we go um, back to our instruction manual online, now we've got the code there, um, it invites you to do two things. The first is to update Conda. Um, I've already done that. So we run a conda update conda from anaconda prompt. And then the second is a conda environment create from a file. And that file is in binder slash environment dot yaml. And what that will do is it will install all of those packages for us. So we go to our uh, anaconda prompt in the correct directory and we type conda environment um, create file binder environment.yaml. Now I've already done that uh, because I'm on a very, very old Windows machine that's very slow um, and it took a few minutes to install um, everything on my machine. Where is the, here we go. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna go away and it's gonna download a whole bunch of um, dependencies for you resolve all of those to make sure we've got no clashes and install. And then at the end of that, it will tell you that to activate your environment, type conda activate hsma4 underscore forecast. So that's what we'll do.
So what you can see is that we're now in the HSMA4 forecast, whereas before we were in base. So now what I could do, for example, is a conda list hyphen. And it'll go away and check what version of Python I'm on. Apologies, I am literally using a clockwork PC here. Here we go. So it tells me what version of Python I've got, which is 3.88, and it also matches anything else that's got Python listed with it. Okay, so once you've activated your environment, we can now launch JupyterLab, and we do that by typing in um, Jupyter Lab. Now, JupyterLab is a server, so what it's going to do, um, just like Jupyter, is it's going to launch Jupyter in your browser. That's going to take a second on this machine by the looks of it. This is how much we love you on HSMA that they've uh, Dan has managed to convince me to use a Windows machine um, for my demonstrations. You're welcome. And here we go. So we've now got our Jupyter Lab view of our um, folder containing our code. Um, so, for example, for the code along lectures, we just um, go down into the Explorer here and we click on Code Along Lectures. And here are the three Code Along notebooks. We double click on Pandas Time Series here, and that will load it for us. Um, and then we just run as normal as you would in a normal Jupyter notebook. It'll take a few seconds the first time you run it. Ah. There we go. Uh, so pandas 1.2.3. Okay. So hopefully that's been useful to you and you can now set up and you've learned something new. I've learned that it's a really bad idea to run Windows um, screen recording software and Python on the same machine at the same time. So good luck and I'll see you on the course.